tutorial of doing a proper deadlift. Okay, so there's a couple different kinds of deadlifts we do in our workouts, um, <clears throat> but I'm going to show you just a regular deadlift with the kettlebell first. Okay, so I'm going to do it straight on first, and we're going to go side to side, and then I'm going to turn to the side. Um, the thing you have to remember about a deadlift is always to keep your knees slightly bent, okay, so we don't want them locked, and you're not using your back, so you shouldn't feel it in your back. You're using your hamstrings and your glutes, okay? So this is a lower body exercise, and you're not bending your knees so much as that you're doing a squat. You're doing a hinge of the waist, okay? We talk, about a lot, we talk a lot about that with this swing. So this is a regular deadlift, okay? I'm gonna bring like, the weight up and back down. So I'm using my hamstrings and my glutes here to bring the weight up and back down. Usually I go up and wait for this kind of exercise because it's not, it's not a large movement, it's a smaller movement. I'm going to show you from the side. All right, what you're going to do, you're going to grab the kettlebell, okay, chest up, nice flat back. You're not curved like this. Knees are slightly bent, bringing the kettlebell up and back down. You have a nice, nice tight tummy to protect your back, um, so that will help a lot. I'm going to show you what a single leg deadlift will look like. Okay, this is a single leg deadlift. We do this a lot um, in a lot of our workouts. All you're going to do is balance on one foot, and you're going to do a deadlift. So technically, you're working the right leg here. Okay, so right knee slightly bent. You're going to grab the kettlebell. This leg is going to go up in the air and you're going to bring your foot back down. You're moving your whole body um, as one unit. You try and keep your hips in line, so don't bring your opposite hip up too far. If you'd like a challenge, you can bring your opposite arm out. All right, so try that one. And if you didn't try the regular deadlift, Let's try that one too. All right, about three each. So remember, keep your knees slightly bent. You're lifting from your legs. Tight tummy to protect your back. Chest is up. You should feel it in your hamstrings and your bum. I'm going to show you what the left side looks like, or the other side. Okay, so it's that same thing. Lifting up. As one unit. One of my favorite exercises, for sure. And try the other leg. So the last kind of deadlift I want to show you is um, a deadlift with a high pulse. So I'm going to show you. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you. Um, from the front, and I'll show you from each side, or, or maybe one side. So what you're going to do, same thing as that first deadlift we practice, slightly bent, slightly, um, bent knees, high chest, but you're going to pull the kettlebell all the way up to your chest. So we're, um, we're incorporating a bit of a high pull here, working your shoulders and upper back, okay? One thing I want you to be weary about is relax your shoulders. I don't want them under your ears. Relax your shoulders. You're not uh, working your trap muscles here. You're working your shoulders and your upper back. That high pull. But remember, the same thing for that deadlift. Okay, so you're still working your legs and your your hamstrings and your glutes. Okay, up. And your head should be in line with your tailbone as well. And those are some deadlifts that we do in our workouts. So feel free to, feel free to practice those. You could try, try to do about three to five of each of those variations to practice, maybe with a lighter weight at first, and then maybe step it up a notch.